All right, joined now by Mike Pressler, head coach of the Bryant men's lacrosse team. They're getting ready for the NCAA tournament, fifth time in school history. Coach, after that NEC championship yesterday, you said we sh this shouldn't have happened. We know about the COVID pauses. Can you explain to our viewers just the road to get here? Uh, it's quite a remarkable journey and 38 years of college coaching. Uh, obviously, uh, been, been through some uh, difficult situations in the past, but this one, uh, is is just off the charts. Uh, during the year, you know, we we suffered uh, three COVID pauses. You know, a month ago, we were one positive away from being shut down for good by the Rhode Island Department of Health. Um, you know, we overcame that. Uh, we 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 lost uh, our entire um, all all of our goalies due to COVID at one time. So we had to bring a goalie out of his red shirt year Oof. just to keep the season going. Um, Every week had to refigure uh, the lineup based on uh, contact tracing you know, over those period, periods of time. Lost our best player, Marco Rourke, uh, in October to myocarditis. Our, our, our team captain, our best defenseman, Jack Haran, tore his patella tendon. My Duke transfer, uh, CJ Carpenter, tore his ACL in February. Uh, our great freshman uh, face-off guy, Nathan Laliberti, tore his ACL two weeks ago. So you look at the adversity that, that we have overcome uh, to, to be where we are today, to, to, to win our, our, our sixth um, conference championship, mm -hmm. NEC tournament title, and to be playing for the national championship a month ago, uh, I was just hoping to finish the season, yeah. much, must play, much um, less play in the postseason. And to get to this point, to be playing our best lacrosse of the year right now, if you told me this a month ago, I would have told you you're nuts. And uh, just so proud, thrilled, and over the top excited for, for the guys in the black and gold. So I imagine the stuff off the field was far more uh, challenging for you as a head coach than the actual coaching in between the lines. That being said, what you guys did yesterday with a, with a nice win and, as you said, playing the best lacrosse of your season, is it almost like once you get on the field, that's the fun and easy part because all the stuff you just mentioned has been sort of hovering around you all year? Uh, you, you couldn't said it better, honey. Absolutely. It's, uh, you know, it's not even like it, this has been our theme. It's, it's not uh, month to month, week to week, day. It's minute to minute. You, you never know. Till you you bend over and and take the first face off that you're actually going to play. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I can't emphasize that enough. Um, you know, you're every week. You know, we test. You know, I, I don't sleep on Monday night w awaiting those tests. I don't sleep on Wednesday night awaiting those tests. Um, you know, the anxiety that these kids have gone through, the mental health, the things that they've given up as a college student just to play their commitment, their resolve, their resiliency um, has, has been so impressive to me. And, uh, you know, again, I'm not sure at 21 years old, I could have done half the things to get to this point that, that these kids have done. And, uh, and again, this story today, to be where we are today is absolutely remarkable. You guys are now 6-0 and in NEC championship title games. What is about that stage that you've had so much success? I think the word confidence too. Um, you know, you get to that point, you got to play loose. The teams that play loose and confident are, are tremendously uh, successful in that environment, I, I believe. And that's been a theme for us. And I think the teams that haven't won uh, in that situation maybe play a little bit more tight than, than you would think they would. And I think we were, we were loose. We were confident. We played a lot more people. And uh, it was probably our best, you know, 60-minute um, uh, game all across mm -hmm. this entire season, obviously on the biggest stage. Now, because of all the outside factors with COVID, do you think the NCAA tournament will have more parity um, because maybe that's the great equalizer? Or do you think the higher seeds are probably going to end up where people are projecting them? How do you see this affecting the NCAA tournament? Well, I, I think there's there's some, some truth to that. Uh, I do think um, there's obviously uh, the big thing within in our sport and all the sports is the fifth year guys. You know, uh, for the next four years, the NCAA has given every school the opportunity to, to bring guys back for an extra year of eligibility that they lost last year due to COVID. Mm -hmm. So the ACC, the Big Ten, 
you know, those kind of programs are are deeper and stronger as we are too. So, but but again, I think at the end of the day, maybe those schools have a little bit of more of an edge just based on, on depth and, and all that moving forward. So, but again, at the end of the day, you know, we did it in 214, we upset Syracuse. Mm-hmm. And our goal was to whoever we, you know, have to go play, our goal was to, to get, get there, get down there and, uh, and, and win. What is it that's going to be the key for you guys to make a run here? We got to pass every COVID test this week. <laughs> that is the key. We got to be 100% negative uh, Tuesday morning. We got to be 100% negative Thursday morning. And if they rapid test us on game day, we got to, yeah, we have to, we have to, uh, uh, that'll be the key to victory for us. Uh, we got to make sure that we get to the finish line. Mm-hmm. And if we get to the finish line, we'll have a great shot with this team. On the field, specific to, to a game plan and to your style, what is the key for you guys to win these games? Uh, I, I think it's a special league position, uh, the face-off X and the goalie. Mm-hmm. You know, if we get um, uh, another great game like we had from Luke Caracciola, he had 35 saves in the tournament. Uh, Jacob Alexander at the face-off X was 17 of 30 versus the best player in the conference. If you have the ball on offense and you make great timely saves, you got a shot against anybody. All right. Well, we are certainly rooting for you guys starting your NCAA journey after an NEC championship. Uh, great year based on everything you've accomplished on and off the field. Congratulations and good luck this week. Honey, thanks so much. Much appreciated. Thank you.